When it comes to the latest fire tech, China's well ahead of Australia. We don't yet have the tools um, to actually address those very large fires. But what's been developed on home soil in the ACT could change that. One of the main things we're looking at are these scout drones, which are kind of a drone that has all these sensors on it that can see a, a lightning ignition as soon as it starts. Aided by an onboard camera, the drone can fly towards a fire, pinpoint its exact location and map the impacted zone for responding ground crews. Test two. Also being explored are water gliders. Which are essentially disposable drones that you would fill with about half a tonne of water and potentially um, some retardant as well. This is a prototype designed to be dropped from an AC-130 cargo plane flying above any weather. They travel 400 kilometres per hour with a GPS onto the location that's provided to them by the scout drone. This system will keep the New South Wales RFS have developed a world-first AI system called Athena. Well, we can have more than 120 fires burning at any one time and it'll always look at what's the number of structures that are most at risk from which fire over the next two, six, ten hours. And the state of Victoria is trialling a new project across seven of its 67 fire towers. We have installed AI cameras that their algorithms are designed to look for smoke. Still in its infancy, vigorous testing is required. It's not ready uh, to take over from human beings right now. Australia has around 170 aircraft in the national fleet to combat fires, but there are fears large air tankers leased from overseas could be in short supply. As bushfire seasons begin to overlap in the northern and southern hemispheres. Australia's maturing to that point where, um, you know, we have enough fire, we have enough um, technology, we, we have obviously the need um, for us to become more independent. With winter wildfires in LA, a former Californian firefighter says AI won't fix all our problems. It's a dangerous time, but it's also an exciting time to kind of get ahead of this because it's only getting worse. Putting a spotlight on the lack of funding. We've wasted so many years, like if we'd had that funding three years ago, we would probably have full-scale water gliders right now. Innovation chasing the pace of climate change. Digby Worthmuller, ABC News, Sydney.